Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. And Terrence. What's up? All right, guys. We are back. This is episode 260, Deliver Us from Eva. Uh, look, sorry for the long wait. Had some scheduling issues, but we are back. Um, look, let me give you the log line for this film. Uh, Eva doesn't let her three sisters, men, push them around. Uh, she's always butting in. How to pacify Eva? Find her a man. The men play, excuse me, the men pay a playboy to be that man. The problem is he falls in love with Eva. Uh, this is a 2003 film uh, directed by Gary Hardwick, um, who's also probably m- most known for directing The Brothers uh, a couple of years before this, I believe. Uh, this movie is starring Gabrielle Union, L. Cool J, Essenac. Essence Atkins, Dwayne Martin, Robin Lee, Megan Good, Mel Jackson, D'Artagnan Edmonds, and Kim Whitley. Um, look, I will let you guys go first. Um, Michael, what did you think of this? Hey, movie? <laughs> oh, okay. This is, um, you know, it's uh, it's a movie from twenty years ago, and uh, you know, all of that comes with it right this movie is really predictable um yeah i love gabrielle union i i think gabrielle union is one of the most beautiful women on the planet um i i think she is incredibly talented uh i like her as an actor um and i like her as a person and um and look I would ride a horse for Gabrielle Union. I would. <laughs> Gosh, I, that's, a, that's, a, that's a weird statement out of context. It's a re- <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think I think she's good in everything, and I think she's good in this. Um, I think I I always thought that she was a little too good in this because, like, I was like, wow. When I was younger and I first saw this, I was like, wow, she's really fine, but she's kind of a it's kind of a see you next Tuesday, man. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's a <laughs> but, but, I, but that's because I was young and dumb, and and now looking at this movie, um, with uh, with an extra twenty years of life experience, and given the climate that we're in right now, I, I don't want to say it, but like, yo, this movie's this movie's problematic, right? Like this movie is, this movie is. Um, this movie is Gender Wars the movie, and I didn't remember yeah, all the Gender Wars stuff. It's but, basically uh, if those podcasts were a movie. <laughs> like that's what yeah, it like. yeah, yeah, and it's um, <laughs> it's just funny looking back because this was only twenty years ago, guys. Like, yeah, it, it, we've we've well, been doing this forever. <laughs> like yeah. we've been doing this forever. We we've been doing this shit forever. Yeah, nothing's going under the sun. Yeah, and and um, so look, the movie itself is you know kind of bog standard. You could even if I didn't know, even I I barely remembered it, but you can pick up the beats of the movie and kind of predict what's going to happen, uh, given the nature of romantic comedies and such. But I I wouldn't say go out and see this. Um, I, you know, L. O. Cool J is, you know, he's he just he he just he's just L. O. Cool J, right? He's <laughs> he's he he's not an actor, right? Like he he acts like L. O. Cool J, so, and then everybody else is just superfluous. Like nobody else mattered. Nobody else in this movie mattered. It is the L. O. Cool J and Gabriel Union movie, and they have good chemistry together, but not enough to like carry this movie okay that's fair uh terrence your thoughts <laughs> yeah i remember i remember really hating um <laughs> really really hating gabriel union in this movie. yeah yeah but again that was a very that was 20 years ago that i saw this movie and i haven't seen it in probably 17 years <laughs> it's been a very long time since i've actually rewatched this entire movie uh yeah you're right this is this is a gender wars the movie um this movie posits that all a woman needs is some dick and she'll be good which is yeah, really fucking it. problematic <laughs> as fuck i was like what the fuck is all right this is what we do in movie look again 20 years ago things were different um no they weren't Probably. look it's the same shit it really isn't um hey gabrielle union 
this this movie is 21 years old. She looks the fucking same. She really does. Yeah, it's <laughs> insane, nigga. It, I, I was watching it and I paused it and I, I like Googled her. I'm like, yo, she doesn't look any different. <laughs> she was like 30 years old in this movie. She's what, 51 now? No difference. Yeah, I'm looking, at, of it. I'm looking at a picture a of her from bit. an article that came out in June of last year. She looks literally exactly the same. <laughs> the same. Like she's she hasn't aged a day in 20 years. Yeah, um, yeah she's fine as hell. Um, but yeah, the, the message, I don't know what the fuck the message this movie is. Because by the end, I was like, what the fuck did we learn? We didn't learn <laughs> shit. Not <laughs> like, really. Like, the, <laughs> dude. We'll get into it, but uh, what's his name? What's the, Dwayne Martin's character? That nigga was a piece of shit, right? One hundred percent. Why the fuck did he get to to propose? All right, fine. Um, yeah, like it was very hard to like in the beginning. You you just hated Gabriel Union, and then once LL Cool J came a bit, look, it's fine. I'm I'm, shitty, I'm pretty sure everyone that's that's like gonna listen to this has probably seen this movie at least once. Um, like Mike 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 Micah said, I don't recommend it. It was fine. <laughs> it isn't special. It's nothing special. It's just a silly, ridiculous movie with a wild ending. I'm like, yo, they just kidnapped this. I didn't remember all of that. It turned into nine to five. With fucking Dolly Parton by the end. I was he like, nigga and put him in a fucking basement in a fucking. I'm like, what? what? All right. I did not remember cool. that at all. Like, you should probably go to prison for falsifying a goddamn police report, but that's fine, you know. <laughs> right. Yo, you're a. You know what? <laughs> you're a criminal at this point. What the fuck? Anyway, this movie's really dumb, but like, it's 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 entertaining, in the, um, if nothing else. Yeah, that's all I got. Like, it's just a silly ass movie. It's very silly. This movie has the nerve to have a post credit scene. Which Nigga, is I super <laughs> like, I watched I watched this Sunday. Yeah. And then when you said it had a post credit scene, I went back to him like, what? Because I turned this shit off with the credit scene. <laughs> and then I went back. I'm like, what the fuck is it? It's at the very end. And I'm like, hey, yo, what does this mean? <laughs> what the fuck does this mean? What did this we doesn't learn? mean anything. We learned nothing. Nothing. Good lord. Yeah, I um yeah, that that post credit scene is uh, super problematic. I was like, okay, like, <laughs> and this movie came out in two thousand three, right? Like, we all we uh, we often talk about like the eighties were a super crazy time, the nineties also kind of wild. Like, you're supposed to be kind of getting <laughs> over that shit. They were like, nah, we're still in it. <laughs> two thousand three, they did not give a fuck. Um, so I will I will basically give my review in a slightly different way, which is. <laughs> to just to give you um, a rough uh, sort of uh, overall view of what the movie, like what actually happens in the movie. Um, these three sisters have these boyfriends slash husbands um, who are pissed because their overbearing sister is kind of butting into their relationships and they feel like it's ruining them, right? They pay this guy who's a big player um, – to kind of come in, distract the the annoying sister so that they can go on with their lives. And then a man is on a horse in the middle of a lobby. That's the movie, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like to give you an idea of where things go. It's fucking weird. It's a weird ending. Um, look, I, I thought this movie was, it's, it's like dumb fun, right? It still has the the thing I love about this era, right? It's on the tail end of the sort of um, yeah. black people, like black excellence 90s movies, right? Because, again, it's 2003. Um, so it's on the tail end of that where the quality started to dip quite a bit. But, um, like, everybody is, like, doing pretty well. Uh, they all got, they all got like, good to great jobs. And, and you know, it's a – the dynamic of the characters is – overall very positive right what i mean by like the where they live in the world is positive right there's no like gang crime or anything like that it's just black people living their lives um which i can appreciate and i i do always like to see that um that being said this movie is goofy as fuck um <laughs> the guy what is his name d'artagnan or whatever um 
it's clear that they wanted Martin Lawrence to be in this movie, but they couldn't. Right. Do it. Yeah. Ex- exactly. <laughs> I'm like, he's doing his best Martin impression through this whole fucking movie. I'm like, come on, nigga, stop. It, it was not good. It was not a good impression. <laughs> um, but that that was kind of a a, a thing that was ob- very obvious to me. Um, yeah, Mike is 100% correct. Nobody matters in this movie but El Cool J and Gabrielle Union. <laughs> like, the other characters, the sisters, none of them matter. Like, Robin Lee is in this movie, and as fine as Robin Lee is, she barely has, like, nine words to say in the entire film. Um, and she, she just doesn't matter. So they could have just cut out the whole sister's angle altogether and just been like, here's this abrasive woman who apparently, quote, needs to get some dick. To, to get herself in line, <laughs> which is a wild thing to say. Um, well, she well they're the catalyst, so they they they're yeah. they're the MacGuffin. I, what are they called? They're barely. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole like that's the whole point. That's the, why she's the way she is. What yeah, I, I I get it. Again, <laughs> the second <laughs> like LL Cool J the, shows up, the, they might as well just they literally just like you could see the Sandman from the Apollo. <laughs> Pushing them with a broom to get off the fucking stage. Like, it's like, it's not your time anymore. So, yeah, it, the movie completely hinges on Gabrielle Union and LL Cool J's, um, their chemistry. And like you said, it's very good, actually. Um, LL Cool J is too slick by half, right? Like, like nigga, we get it. Like, <laughs> we get it. Women think you're very attractive. We uh, We understand. And so there's like a lot of lip licking uh, in this movie more than I feel comfortable um, <laughs> pointing out. Um, even even uh, Dwayne Martin's character points it out in the movie. Like he even says this shit. Um, but yeah, it's, that, was, it's, that, was, that was D'Artagnan. Oh, was it D'Artagnan? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call it. His name is D'Artagnan. But look, if your parents love the Three Musketeers, it's cool. Like whatever. Like I said, that's a black that's a black person's name I've never heard before. Like, <laughs> like it's like an action. I movie. mean, in Alexander Dumas, in Alexander yeah. Dumas, black. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just so, saying, I've look, never look, heard D'Artagnan. Ne- D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan is a black ass name, and and quite <laughs> frankly, it, we need to bring it back. Don't let white people think that. Don't let white people think that D'Artagnan is a white name. Nah, yo, a nigga named uh, Dumas named his character D'Artagnan. Yeah, but he didn't spell it. He didn't spell it. His parents didn't spell it correctly. They did (laughs) D-A-R. They they didn't do the Wakanda spelling, which is the proper spelling. They did D apostrophe Artagnan. Like that's how you spell it. (laughs) Fuck out of here. See, that's how you know it's really black. Um. So yeah, it, it's a silly movie, but I had a good time with it. Like, it's it's goofy as hell though. All right, Micah, take it away. All right, look, um, we start off. If if you didn't realize that this movie was going to be goofy, it starts off with the entire cast singing uh, "You're All That I Need to Get By" and um, doing some sort of weird dancing, uh, dressed as people from. The forties. I, I need. I'm sorry. 40s? I need to stop you. I, I need to stop <laughs> I don't you know, for yeah. a second. Um, just as a side note, according to Wikipedia, uh, this movie is considered by many as a modern update to William Shakespeare's play. Yeah, the, the Taming, Taming of the, of the Shrew. Shrew. Yeah. So, yeah, that's exactly I, what this well, is. I hadn't thought about that, but okay, sure. Well, that's why they yeah. hired D'Artagnan to be in it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, he don't even have it. Why do they have Mel Gibson as credited to being in this movie on Wikipedia? That's fucking. Weird. I don't remember. I don't remember uh, saying that. But yes, yes, this is uh this is a, an adaptation of a William Shakespeare play, uh, which goes to show you that William Shakespeare. Like I, I was reading something like we all revere William Shakespeare, but apparently in his time, his plays were considered was, like trash. Right, they were oh, considered yeah. like reality TV. Yeah. Like, yeah, like people would just like, a, oh shit, oh, doth <laughs> <don't> protest too much, <laughs> head snaking and fucking smell, probably smelling awful because like, <laughs> uh, yeah. all right, um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's an adaptation. So we we open up with um, the framing device is uh. 
that of a, a, a funeral. We're at LL Cool J's funeral, and he's uh, he's he's monologuing about it, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, this is it's pretty sad way to start a movie." Well, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and they have a cutaway gag of like, this is probably how they really acting, right? And everybody's dancing at the funeral. And then he's going over and we meet the cast visually. And he's like, it, it, we stop at Gabrielle Union and it's like, she's the reason why I'm dead, right? And um, and then we cut to the actual story being told of our three, uh, our three, um, not hero characters because they're kind of scumbags. Uh, the the husband, <laughs> the boyfriends, the boyfriends. Well, two of them are married. D'Artagnan okay. and the other nigga, the the nigga from the Mel. What's um, that show? <laughs> Mel Jackson. Tim. Mel Jackson. He's married. Those two are married. Okay. Um, and so, then and and Dwayne uh, Martin. What's his name? And Dwayne, Dwayne Martin is just the boyfriend. They're not even like they're not even engaged or anything. It's just oh, that's right. Because he wants to. Because he wants to move in. Yeah, he wants to yeah. move in. Yeah. <laughs> he's a fucking cop. Uh, well, right. yeah, that's why he. That's why he's the one with with all the crooked ass ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there and the round one of the gender wars begins, and the guys are watching uh, some sort of uh, uh, athletic competition. Um. <laughs> And on the television, being fucking, being fucking rowdy as shit, rowdy and loud. And um, Essence Atkins comes in and is like, we have our book club today, guys. So you're going to have to leave. And the guys are like, no, I'm putting my foot down. And he does this thing that I used to do with uh, my former, with my former fiance. Um I would yeah. literally pick my foot up and put it down. Yeah, yeah, uh, former, uh, former fiance. Because <laughs> <exactly. What> <laughs> yeah. you know, misogyny is funny. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I just look at you like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> that, well, that's exactly what she did. She's like, all right, nigga, shut up. Um, she was from New York. She ain't play that shit. You know, whatever, nigga. And um, <laughs> but like these three niggas, and then here comes. Uh, Eva and she's just like, like, no, we're not doing this. Like, and I forget what she said exactly, but she was like, no, we're not gonna. She, you know, buzzword, buzzword, massage noir, right? This was before massage noir <laughs> was a word. This, this it shouldn't entire- be a word. Just say black misogyny, yo, or like, <laughs> like misogyny is hard enough to say. Like then you add a noir on it. It's like nah, yo. Like just say black misogyny, yo. Um, but yeah, she's she's going around and she's she's using these quote unquote fifty dollar words. And D'Artagnan is just like, I'm dumb. What? Uh (laughs) And here's the thing about this particular scene because they're in the they're in the in the in there watching the football game, right? And they agreed to this. Like him and his wife, they agreed that they would watch. They would be able to watch the football game. Yeah. And she made the decision, the last minute decision, to have their book club. They switched days, and they want to have it at this house at the last second when they had already decided that they would watch the football game at the house. No. So you forgot that part. I don't like get the fuck out of here. Yeah. First of all, this is my house. This fuck is my house. <laughs> yeah. I know this is gender war shit, but like, no, fuck off. No, you're being rude. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's like not that easy, rude. guys. It's not that easy, guys. Yeah. It isn't. I, no, yeah. I would tell her to fuck off. That's not my wife. That's my oh, sister. all right. Well, yeah, I was about to say. No, I'm like, not, <laughs> no, not my wife. I'm like, yo, your sister's a bitch. Yeah. Like, we already know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't use that language. Like, <laughs> again, again. It's not <laughs> that she easy. Knows she's a bitch. Like, right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, Terrence, Terrence, is, Terrence is a wild brother in law. It's like, no, your sister's a Sorry, bitch. Right. God damn. She is. No, she is. I'm it. just saying, like, they know who you, her. They know this. They <laughs> you know your sister's a bitch. Come on. Breath. God. <laughs> I just would have been like, breath. and when she was like, you need to leave, I'd be like, no. No. Yeah. 
I'm like, no. I like how Terrence I don't even have to get mad about it. No. I like how Terrence is trying to gaslight this fictional woman into thinking that her sister's a fucking bitch. Now, you know your sister's a bitch, though, right? <laughs> you know that, right? Like, like, <laughs> like shit. Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> Coming like, oh, we decided to switch to switch days and times. So y'all gotta go. I don't know. That's not how this works. I I do like here's a compromise. We're watching the game. You're having a book club. Why don't you go have your book club? Yeah, because maybe by the say- time the game is over, you can watch your movie. And who the fuck watches a movie at the end of book club? You're supposed to be reading. Reading. Yeah. Didn't, didn't they say something like didn't they offer that right, like to go in the other room or something like that? I could, I, I can't remember. But no, but they, they said they the could have it in like the kitchen or some shit like that. Yeah, the, the guy was. The guys were like, "Why don't you have it in the other room?" And they were like, "Yeah, why no, don't you we have it in the other room?" Right. Yeah, but um, Eva's like, "No, because we need to watch the movie after we discuss the book." Well, it doesn't sound like you have yeah, a, book how, club. It's not a book. Yeah, club. I've never been to a book club, but I can't imagine that's how they work. Yo, that sounds like a movie club. Right. <laughs> now let's watch the movie. Why? Oh, yeah. We're reading books. So yeah, this yeah. is this is very much a sort of a gender wars moment, right? Yeah. Like where she's yeah, just like okay. trying to fucking she's reading them the riot act all the way down. Um I like I can feel my misogyny like flaring up during this thing. I'm like, <laughs> first off, <laughs> the woman's playing to me. No, it's it's wild how like almost twenty five years ago or twenty years ago, like we're like people who still make these kind of arguments. They're like you're still you haven't moved. You haven't moved forward at all. Like <laughs> if you listen to this and you're like, well, that's fucking ridiculous, and I don't agree with it, and here's the reason why. If you're still making those, if you listen to that, but you also make those same arguments against women in general. You might want to look into like the the fact that you might have like Peter Pan syndrome or some shit. Like you have not evolved as a person in twenty years. It's a bit weird. Um, My biggest yeah. issue was I don't like disrespect, and she disrespected the shit out of niggas. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, she does. Like, I don't she, I don't she, take she disrespect does. very lightly. Like I get really petty. I don't get loud. I just be like, I would just sit the fuck down and continue watching television. I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> No, fuck I'm not, I'm not, not engaged. No, well, but actually, for me, do. it would be the most offensive thing is that my wife would back her sister and do think it. it's cool, right? Yeah, that's, that's actually up, man. that like that's the level of disrespect because I'm like, I'm gonna tell your sister no. Like, I I just can't imagine this ever happening with my sister in law. It's <laughs> like the nicest <laughs> person I know. Like, it would just be so weird. Like, get out. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Is this a joke? Um. But I can't imagine that situation happening and me just being like, oh, here, let me put my tail between my legs and leave. Like, that would be really fucking weird. But then my wife be like, yeah, you better get out of here. I'd be like, we're going to have a conversation when I get back from the bar. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing right now? Shit is unacceptable. United front, my nigga. Like, united front. Like, that's what it's supposed to be. So, nah. So they end up going to the bar because they're, um, cause they're scared the, uh, of their sister-in-law, which is weird. The the guys are out at a bar complaining about how interfering Eva is, uh, and they come across Mike's old friend, Ray Adams. Ray is a quote-unquote master player who can handle even the most difficult of women, uh, as you can tell I'm reading from Wikipedia. Um, to illustrate sure. this, the movie shows, uh, the movie shows LL Cool J uh, standing next to two women, and the women are arguing over LL Cool J. They're not mad at LL Cool J. They they are arguing at each other about who is going to let LL Cool J plow them. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, and you know he's off in the distance, right? We we are we are seeing this from the guy's point of view, so they can't really make out the what he's actually saying and they're like yo that's my man yo like that's that's my man james todd smith like he's he's a master player right and they look over and then the women they shake hands and then they all walk away i guess to have uh a a, an orgy or a threesome uh because he is a master player and uh 
and and that's all that women did. All you got to do is be bald and have moisturized lips, and that's it. <laughs> and, and that, that's it. If if that's all it took, wow! I really uh, yeah, during my single days, I really fucked up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No, you keep chapstick with you, bro. Keep chapstick with you. That, that was it. That was all I needed. And millions of dollars. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's weird because they see him, Dwayne Martin's character. Like he, you know, he's the one who knows Ray, and he and he sees him. Like they all see Ray walk off with these two girls, and immediately he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna go talk to him." I'm like, "This nigga just set up a menage a trois. Leave him alone. You gonna <laughs> fuck it up. You stay over on that side of the bar. Don't talk to me, weirdo. Get out of here." So yeah, he um, Ray goes off with these two women. We get a we get another quick example because the guys are like, "Yo, this guy, we could get him to to deal with Eva, right? And because all she needs is is just to to be occupied, right? So then we get her out of her sister's lives so that we can control our women." Uh, because God damn it, like she's too strong. Like we can't. We we need our women to be docile, and uh, yeah. just just having yeah. one bad apple is spoiling this bunch of docile women. And yeah, we need them to be docile. Yeah, it's it's weird when um, uh, fresh and fit and uh, some other misogynist <laughs> asshole hires uh, Andrew Tate to date their uh, their sister's girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> their their girlfriend's sister. Like that's all this is. It's just it's, it's three losers. Um, Hoping that another guy who is alone and sad ultimately um, can help them. Cool, good job, everybody. We we see a quick clip of Ava uh, Eva um, shutting down uh, this one dude that uh, they describe as like this dude now has like psychological like like he has a stutter now. Because he, he and and PTSD from dealing with Ava. Didn't they call him the um, R word as well? I believe they yeah, said that. Yeah, uh, word, yeah well, you know, twenty years ago, guys. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's twenty like, years ago. Okay. <laughs> it's wild watching movies. Like I don't judge. I hate when people judge movies from like this era and stuff like that. They're like, yeah. this is offensive. Like that's the era. Like, look, it was right. Shit, shit flowed like wine back then, right? Like it is what it is. Um, but it's just wild to watch it now because it's like you hope that you've matured and all this other stuff and you do realize how much, I mean, I hope people watch this and they're like, oh, that's, you know, I have matured past that. But when you hear it, you're like, okay, that's really kind of fucked up. Like, they'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. If, if this guy, if this guy was actually played by Martin, he'd be all kinds of agate phase and Tarted rays and everything, oh, right? Man. Like he would be in 2003, <laughs> Martin. Right. No, this was this was Bad Boys Two, Martin. That would have been Bad Boys Two because they came out like in the same year almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he would have been he would have been wild. Yeah, so the, we you got off light. <laughs> 100%. Never forget, Martin was banned from SNL for his fucking monologue. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, that's shit. right. God damn. Yeah, he went the fuck off. Anyway, go ahead. <clears throat> so we uh we cut back to Megan Good uh mounting D'Artagnan. And um <laughs> How angry is Jonathan Majors when he sees this clip? Like, is he pretty mad? <laughs> no, I don't think he's mad at all. I, I don't think he's mad at all. I don't think he's yes. mad at all. Cause I don't think he's uh well. I don't think he likes black. Uh no, he doesn't. And um and uh Ava like, they're they're about to they're about to like get it on, right? And Ava comes in and she insults this nigga like oh so I'll, I'll just come back in two minutes. Like Jesus. get out of Again. my bedroom, yo. <laughs> yo, first of all, why are you how did you get in my house? Oh she, yo, your uh, wife gave me a spare key. Did we not why did we not have a discussion about your sister having a spare key? To our house. Does any of your does your sister have a spare key to your house, Mike? Uh no, no. My my uh my sister that lives forty minutes away, and she will never. And she, even if she did, she would never come because I live forty <laughs> minutes away, 
And it's just like, I'm you just, know what? Yeah, I understand, but I'm just get saying. out of here. No, we don't have, have one. No, this isn't this isn't a fucking sitcom, guys. Like <laughs> wait, 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 wait. nobody has no <laughs> one has an extra key to your house? No. We live in we live wrapped comfortably in the bourgeoisie of Montgomery County, Maryland. <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> I'll call a locksmith. Like in case you get locked out or whatever, you don't you don't have any like a neighbor or something. I have I, I have a way to get into the house if oh, I get I locked out. I see. If I don't, if my keys, I'm fucked. I gotta, I gotta like buzz one of my neighbors because I got a, I got an outdoor lock right. and my fucking house. So yeah, I have to buzz my neighbor. Hopefully they, look, hopefully they fucking answer the shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had like <laughs> our neighbor at my last house. My neighbor had like because we didn't have we didn't have keys. We had like punch codes for all of our doors, um, and they had they had a code, but like. I don't know. Like, I wasn't really worried about it. Like, I'm not worried about them just showing up in the <laughs> random. And you're like, hey, hey, what's up? I'm like, oh, you, <laughs> somebody getting their back blown out? Oh, okay. Come on in. Like, oh, get the fuck out of here. And she um, comes into the house and into the bedroom. Like, that's silly. You know, that's yeah, fucking it's, silly, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> extremely <laughs> silly. <laughs> like, I need to talk to my sister. I need to talk to my sister. I, I, I don't know I what to tell you. Call her. She has also, a phone. like, Get out of it's here. All these, it's all these cell phones existed. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's, all <laughs> these, uh, all these sisters keep like jumping around. Uh, to, like as soon as she calls, they they jump right. Yeah, they it's, stop it, everything that's, they're doing. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. odd, man. That's kind of odd. Um, but you know, it's, it's a role movie. adult. Yeah, I don't think I would marry. Huh? I I don't think I would marry a woman who acted like this towards their siblings. I don't. I, yeah, I, you married you married her. You married these women, and you knew no. I, I don't fucking, think so. You knew what their fucking sister was like. I wouldn't have been able to do it because, no. like, we're gonna get into an argument every day. <laughs> like, not you, me, and your sister are going to get into arguments. Here's another. Uh, here's another reason why you should have conversations before you get married. Um, Essence Atkins' character and uh, what's this guy Mel Jackson's character Tim. Um, Oh, yeah. Their issue, their their issue is that he wants to have a baby, and she doesn't know because Eva, Eva has put it in her head that Karina's head that marriages end d- statistically uh, after 50, five years. Fifty two percent. Fifty two percent. Fifty two percent. Before right. five years. Yeah, something like that. Right. And they're on three years. And she's like, well, I don't want to bring a life into the world in case this doesn't work out. And like, I think these are some conversations you probably should have had three years ago, guys. I don't um, know, man. You I'm can't. Not letting you can't. You, I'm not letting your big headed sister tell us about having babies. Yeah. I'd be like, knock that shit off. Knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> Mind your fucking business. Mind your business. Basically, yep, 100%. Yeah. Mind your business. And she's like, and oh, like, you shouldn't have you shouldn't be drinking if you want to have a kid. Like, you don't want the baby to be fucking an alcohol. I'm like, yo, this woman is. A- <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. Terrible as possible. Yo. I'm telling you right now. If my wife was like, uh, like, if I, I'm sitting there having a scotch and I haven't had like eight of them. Right. Like that, that would be crazy. Right. I don't drink like that. And she was like, I don't think you should have that scotch. I'd be like. Is there cameras here? Am I getting punked? What the fuck are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is so weird to me, yo. Like, I don't, I don't understand the idea of like policing your spouse like this and treating them like a child. Like, it's very weird to me. Um, no, I, I, I do not, I do not care for this at all. I, I, I don't like this behavior. And then they do a fucking <laughs> uh, a Family Guy cutaway. Of that guy getting his dick cut off by um, yeah. his sister-in-law. It's weird. It's yeah, very. Why, do you, why would you put up? Like, why would you put up with that? That just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I'd be like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I can't, I, like, First nah, off, yo, give me out. my drink back. Two, get out. <laughs> In that order. Like, this is half my sister's house. Yeah, 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 right, go to your but... sister's house then. Beat it. Get out of here. Um, no, me and my wife would, we would have, we would have a lot of arguments. We would have a lot of arguments. If you, if you treated me, uh, 
like a second class citizen. I, that shit would piss me off. Now, all of you, uh, now, now, most of our listeners, I think, are are reasonable people. But if for some reason you wandered over here from, um, you know, whatever manosphere, uh, red red pill YouTube, right? Whatever red <laughs> pill YouTube algorithm sent you to us for some fucking reason. I don't respect um, you fundamentally. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't um it doesn't uh it works both ways guys like like we're saying hey we wouldn't we as men would not appreciate if our women treated us this way the point of this is is that it, it 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 what's good for the goose is good for the gander right like if you don't want to be treated that way don't treat you yeah, the golden rule that way yeah right uh yeah. i think you might have had a, a too many pinot grigios uh let me take this glass of wine from you like what right i i don't i don't understand and again this movie very much is like gender wars the film i just don't understand this idea of just treating people like that. Like you marry that person for better, for worse, and all that other fucking hippie shit. But you're also just supposed to respect them as human beings. Like I know that's like a weird like passe kind of thing on the internet. But like you are in fact supposed to respect people just as human beings on the most basic of levels. And it never feels like in these kind of conversations that, that ever happens. And I get it, right? Like it's play for laughs, right? Like we understand what movies are, right? We're just uh, extrapolating this stuff to real life. Like we're we're not here to rewrite the movie. We know what how movies work. But they just cranked her. They just cranked her fucking her personality up to eleven just to get the point across that this woman is really just a this is a bit of a bitch, and there's a reason for it. Like once we get along, but like yeah, man, like come on. Right. Yeah, it went over it, a little over. Yeah, <laughs> she she like, she's down. like a creative she's like a creative character in a video game, and she only had enough points. Um, they just they 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 put two sliders, and it was like beauty and bitch, and they slid it all the way to the <laughs> and they were like a lot of points because right. that's it. Right. That's all they had left. Right. Uh, they 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 went the charisma. renegade route. They put all their they put all their points into intimidate instead of charm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. It's like, like I don't know, guys. Punching like, reporters in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Like, nah, so we uh we cut to a, a quick scene in um the in a in a hair, a hair salon uh with a with a very obvious gay man what? and 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 he is gay and don't think anything else of it because he's a gay guy <laughs> in the 90s and that's 100 percent true or 2000s yes and that's 100 percent true um this is here just to set up the fact that um you know we the girls have like a a, a sanctuary, a sanctuary. There, right? right where they can where they can like talk and all that and safe um space, if you will. yes a safe space and uh and Dwayne martin's character come in comes in and he's like i'm in man hell right like what well, don't pick up the phone right all right um <laughs> uh, this this part is just to set up a um uh a sodomy joke because uh <laughs> you know Ass play is funny, I guess. Uh, I believe this is. Uh, I believe this is the director, um, who yeah, is about to. Uh, yeah, I think that's him. Who is? Uh, who is about to? Uh, who is playing the proctologist? And uh, this nurse is like, "Would you like some asper cream or whatever?" And he's just like, "Nope." And then he puts his. Uh, he puts uh, his, his goggles on because he go. He's going spelunking. And uh, there's a very cute little edit of him jamming his hand, and all of a sudden it's a new hand um, of someone stuffing a turkey. Um, we see that is in fact uh, correct, <laughs> correct. By the way, we see uh, we see L O Cool J at his job uh, delivering meat. 
which is a wild <laughs> way to say that, but okay. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, Eva comes in uh, because she is a health inspector, and uh, she's she's going around and you know just testing shit and being really really hypercritical and stuff. And and um, at the end of it, she uh, she curses this dude out, just like Nah, yo, you 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 have a shitty ass rut. This is, this is kitchen nightmares or whatever that show was that, yeah. that Gordon Ramsay did. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and she's reading him the riot act and he's like, nah, yo, uh, Ella Kuja is like, yo, if you want me to do this, you gotta pay me $5,000. So you gotta yeah, pay me $5,000 to take this, this woman out. Right. But also he's kind of like, hmm. uh, <laughs> he's like, Oh, uh, Oh yeah. Cause he's uh, up for uh, a new- challenge. Yeah, new kink unlocked. <laughs> okay, like, like, I get it. Like, there's part of me, you know, I'm not going to lie. There's part of me that's like, wow, she's being a really bit, like a really huge bitch in the scene. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of into it a little bit. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, because I like, because you, you like strong women, right? Yeah. Like, I like strong women. And seeing that is, is, is like, all right. Like, I don't like, uh, the, also, the, like, these dudes, yo, like, they want these, like, Super subservient women, you know. I just, I, that's not attractive to me, man. No, that's it a just kid. Really, you, know? you want a kid. You want a kid. It just really <laughs> isn't attractive again, to me, man. Again, I don't respect you fundamentally. I just, I just don't. Um, no, I, I, I never understood the idea of like, like if this movie had just started, if the film had started out by saying we're trying to get rid of Eva because she's in her masculine energy and we want our, <laughs> our girlfriends and wives in their feminine energy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Like that's, and by the way, if you say shit like that, like I, I don't understand you. I, I don't, it's not how, that's not how people work. Uh, polarity of uh, human beings is not a thing. Um, but yeah, Ugh. I don't. I don't understand the weak women thing. It's just that's really unattractive to me. It just is very odd to me. It's very odd. Yeah, you want a geisha, you creep. Get out of here. Yeah, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Right, you want a maid you can fuck. Like, okay. nah, yo. Now you want no? You know, you want a mom you can fuck. You want your mom. Mm. Can you do my laundry and take care of me and rock me to sleep, but also like touch my penis? Like, you're a fucking weirdo. Get out of here. Like, no. That's kind of gross, you know. <laughs> no, it is super yeah, gross, but that's what they want. But that's what they want. That thought is just awful to me. I, like, I mean, look, these these same guys can't stop watching stepmom porn, so. Uh, just saying. You know, everybody's stuck in a dryer. <laughs> Help me, stepmom. <laughs> <laughs> Why people are weird, you know? Like, your porn <laughs> habits are strange. You know? They're just super strange. Super strange. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, skipping ahead a bit. Um... Cause there's a lot of like, like cutaway gags and like establishing like that Eva is like annoying, right? And I I get it at this point. Like I really church. get it. So they're they're at a black church right now, and she's like the before, choir director. Before, we, before you go, before you continue, there's a, there's a plot point that we I just wanted to point out. The guy that she that read the riot act at the uh, restaurant, yes, was basically like um, scouting, and he was like, yeah. "You did an excellent job." And there's a job that you that we have in Chicago, and we want you to have it. So that's that's another point of it's another plot point. Yes, it's an important. That's actually it a big a, plot point. Yeah, it's actually a very now, good plot point. Thank you for bringing yeah, that so up. Now, there's also a, a plot point that I'd like to bring up that I'd like Jay to actually go to. Uh, yeah. It's at about. It's at about. Uh, oh fuck off! I know here. <laughs> it's at about. I know it's it at is. about thirty minutes. <laughs> no, fuck off. It's, it's at about thirty minutes. <laughs> There's nothing. <And> it's Tim. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't need to see. He's got kissing his feet. It bothers it's me. At, it bothers. It's at it's at thirty minutes, and and, oh, and Tim wow. and Essence Atkins are talking. <laughs> And he's like, I really want a baby. I really want a baby. And she's like, <laughs> marriages end all the time. And I anticipate our marriage ending, which is why I don't want a baby with you right now. That's what she's saying, yo. That's, That's what she's exactly saying. saying. Yeah. <laughs> and up. and yeah. it, it's very fucked up. And yeah, we're, not gonna, only, we're not going to have a conversation like that. I'm just going to let that shit rock. I'm like, what are we talking about right now? Right. That's, okay. All right. Wait a minute. Let me suck your toes, and then then we'll talk. About it, right. 
I don't this care. Put, this, this nigga put those toes in his mouth. Yes, for real, yo, for real. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> my CGI, my nigga, like, nah, yo. Ah. No. If I was playing that role and they were like, we need you to kiss us in Atkins' feet, I'd be like, listen, um, I respect her greatly as an actress. I'm not going to do that. As I, see, as, as I see the role, my character wouldn't do that. My character finds feet repulsive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, apparently she finds him repulsive too because he gets up and tries to kiss her on the mouth and she's just like, uh, uh, <laughs> nigga. Uh, <laughs> uh, nah, you, uh, see, that was, a, that was a Mel Jackson personal choice as an actor. He was like, yeah. <laughs> don't do that, bro. It's just, no. Nah. <laughs> so they uh they had a black church and they got a they have they and she's directing the choir Is she in the weirdest an way possible she have an orgasm like i she i got, think she she's got, she is she using I, a rose toy underneath her robe? What the fuck are these faces she's making? <laughs> like, this shit is getting out of hand. Really in the fucking she's quiet. I've never had yeah, that I, also, this is the worst part of church here. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm not there for the fucking, I'm not there for the concert. I'm there for the TED Talk. Like, I don't need all this singing and dancing and shit. I, I see it all the same, but go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm just not a fan of church. I had a, you know, I'm going to keep that to myself. I'm not, I can't say it on the, on, on the podcast. <laughs> like, people might get angry. Like, this is, it was a question that I'm about to ask you guys before we started recording. I'll ask you. Okay. Uh, then Eva corrects the the pastor. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's like, word, yeah, that pastor's like, bitch, if you don't get the fuck out my motherfucking face. <laughs> I'm trying to, re- I'm trying kidding. to, re- I'm trying to remember who that actress Man. is. She's been in something else too. Well, Dwayne Martin's character comes up uh, and tries to interject, and he, even he is rolling his eyes at what she's saying, at what Eva's saying to the pastor. You know, it's like, all right. All right, all right, all right. You don't know everything. God damn it. Hey, come and meet my friend, uh, LL Cool Ray. And he he introduces himself and he's like, hey, yeah, uh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, I got a girl. And 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 the guys it's are like, like what? what the fuck? Like, right. We gave you $2,500. It's like, we gave you $5,000 and this is, what the, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Uh, and And he's like, look, bro. No woman wants a man that what is what she say? No woman wants a man that that is not wanted by another woman or some shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. some something like that. Again, uh, gender wars, gender wars, gender wars. Like who who's writing this this script? Right? Like, yes, women love a guy who's already in a committed relationship. Like, sure, there are women who sleep around with guys who are committed relationships, but I would argue the vast majority of women would rather the guy just be single so that she knows that she's not dating nah, someone Jay. who cheats nah, on them. Nah. All women want to wreck homes. That's what this movie is telling. <laughs> Classic women. It's like, what kind of logic is that? Like, what kind of logic is that? It's very weird. Um, but um, yeah, sure. At uh, at the hairdresser, the sisters kind of get into a little bit of a into a little bit of an argument, um, and we see that Eva has positioned herself as like the cornerstone of this family, right? Like right. they need to be able to, she's able to like wrangle these girls together. Uh, which look, that's a real talent because I've been on a uh, I've been a, an accessory to a girls trip. And um, no, I. It's because I had never been to Montreal, and my wife was like, "You want to go?" And I'm like, "Are you sure?" And she's like, "Oh, the girls won't mind," and they didn't. But like, I was the only guy, and um, and it's it's challenging. No. <laughs> even the even the even the, quote, even the quote unquote alpha female of that group was was like I'm I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's fucking wild. So you want to talk about yeah. sports? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh it's it's difficult. But um but yeah, and then they do like a little sisterly hug. Um, 
They're at a barbecue, right? And uh, we get more physical comedy from D'Artagnan. Apparently, Eva makes makes some uh, really hot baked beans or some shit like that. And um, she's like, it separates the men from the boys, right? D'Artagnan is, like you said, doing his best Martin Lawrence impression of physical comedy. Um, But it's just not hidden. And... um, Ray comes in and Eva's, you know, talking with one of her sisters and, you know, she's obviously attracted to this dude, right? Because it's LL Cool J in the 90s, right? Like, this was in his, yeah. like, what was this? The 2000s. Night, this man. shit, yo, this shit feels like a fucking 90s movie. <laughs> it absolutely movie. feels like a 90s movie. <laughs> it really feels yeah, like a 90s movie. You, you know music. Was this in his, like, Hey Lover phenomenon, like, like days? That was in the 90s? He has a couple well, songs on, on the, the soundtrack. He has a couple Damn, songs really? like on the on the soundtrack that he that are constantly playing in the back background. Yeah, one. Uh, yeah, out. I remember that song. I remember that song. That song was fucked up. Right? He was he was he was Mister Steal Your Girl in that song. Um, what what year did uh, Deepest Blue as My Hat Is Like a Shark's Fin come out? <laughs> when in ninety nine two thousand. So when did when did when did uh when did Deep Blue Sea come out? I might have to rewatch that dumb movie. That movie's dumb as fuck. I love it though. Might have to watch that trash movie, you know, with Deep Blue Sea. Ninety nine. Yeah. Ah yes, same same year as The Matrix, guys. Two uh, (laughs) two two seminal films. uh, 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 Really define that year. Two Oscar (laughs) films. So uh, Ray is talking to um, Eva, and he's like, yeah, me and my girl, we uh, conveniently broke up um, wearing, a, wearing a shirt that I could uh, only describe as a J special. And, Ooh, um, and yeah, that uh, should look like an optical illusion when I first saw it. <laughs> shit is too on? tight, yo. It's too tight. It's too tight on him. It's too tight. Uh, uh, I get one, it though. Look, I get look, it. look! You're trying to show off the guns and look, the traps listen. and the lats and you know whatever four letter word for muscles there are. I get it. I get it. <laughs> look, listen, look. As I always say, I'm a workout, and I if I if I'm if I feel like I'm looking good, you're getting this medium shirt. All right, like I don't give a fuck, <laughs> fuck what the fuck you want. Like I'm not wearing a baggy shirt. I don't work out and stay in shape to wear a burnt baggy shirt. Get out. of here. <laughs> Here are my, here's here are my veins. You can see it through my t-shirt. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it didn't look like he was wearing a full shirt. I thought he was wearing a halter top at first. It's like yeah, you know, his whole titty <laughs> is out. What is happening? Right Hold on, like, the hell is going on? Like I get music so are weird, but come on. He's talking to uh, he's talking to Ava, and he's you know he's trying to spit some game or whatever. Meanwhile, he's like he's got a spoonful of these like super hot ass beans right and she's just waiting for him to eat them right and he eats them she's like yeah this will separate the men from the boys why she act like a why she act like that dumb nigga d'artagnan uh <laughs> and and, <laughs> and he he ate it really and he did. was like Woo, mm, that's good i like it and she's like oh shit he passed the test he likes spicy food Okay. He likes spicy food. I want to fuck you. him now. I'll give him a chance. Like, what the fuck? It's a, it's a weird test. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, also, like, women, don't play games, guys. Don't don't play games. Don't play don't games. test us, please. Uh, that shit is. That sh- don't do it. Don't can you do imagine? It. Can you imagine the like this in reverse? Like, oh, I I gave her some sour patch kids. I wonder if she could take it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing? Like, <laughs> she doesn't, make it, she doesn't mean anything. I don't like spicy food. Well, I guess your dick game is weak. What does that mean? I don't understand. Like, what is the correlation? It's weird. Like, yeah. So, by the way, those beans look bland as fuck. They had no seasoning on that. They poured that shit right out of a can and onto that bullshit ass paper plate. Knock it off. Right. The motherfuckers are probably cold, which is why he was like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is my third take. I don't like these. That's why. Look, that's why he's. That's why he's looking so goddamn passionate. He's like, "Is this enough for this scene? Please move on. These beans are terrible." 
Oh man. So she's like, all right, we'll go on a date. And then they cut to them, to him at the door in a, in a, a suit. That's just terrible. It, it, this is an ugly suit. Like not just like the fact that it's not tailored It's it's like Brown on Dijon. It's a Brown shoot with a Dijon mustard shirt and a caramel tie. It looks fucking terrible. Yo, it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle Union looks oh, like she's about to go to a really th- bad. Oh my it's God. real bad, yo. Like Gabrielle Union looks like the finest person at a funeral, right? Like she looks like yep. the most attractive person at a funeral. She can't look bad, right? This nigga is walking around in 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 Bruce Wayne's suit from Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> 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 he looks like he's about to go around. <laughs> yo, that's yeah, I'll sell a fun. vacuum cleaner. Yo, that is a that is a perfect analogy, yo. It's, it's exactly that suit he used to wear. Oh, shit. oh my god, it's really bad. Like it's a really bad suit, and then it not being tailored is just well, it's just, just like the icing on the cake, yo. Yeah, it's, it's like so the bad. icing on the the fucking shitty ass cake, and um, and he's like, all right, and they they, they have a gag here, right, where they're walking towards this like red like convertible and she's just like you know those things are really dangerous and he's like yeah i know that's why we're not driving that and she and he the camera pans over to a box truck and she's like are you serious like you you didn't want to get in that thing before but like now that you see old boxy over there and now that now you you're trying to change the tune and she's she's like this this would you this would you do on a first date this the car you you drive, and I hope and you ain't taking like, me nah. to the cheesecake factory, nigga. <laughs> how that goes? Again. He was like, "It's clean and it's free." What? Yeah, it's clean and it's free, and I'm trying to save up for a house. And she's like, "Oh, okay, all right." Home ownership is really important. Like, all right, shut up. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you have a home? You at your sister's house all the goddamn time. Um. So they have this really bad date. I won't go into the specifics of the date, um, but she wants to leave. And he's just like, I mean, we can't just finish the food. And she's like, I want to leave now. Right. Like the fucking like she's got a Jesuit voice and shit from Dune. And she's just like, <laughs> let's go. Right. And and she's and then they get uh, into an argument on the way home. And um you know, she calls uh she calls an APB uh for all the sisters and she's Again, just like, this Yo. argument it wasn't an argument. It wasn't an argument. <laughs> and just shit on this nigga. She's yeah, like, she I'm like, better than you because I have a Yeah, she job. did, yo. She literally said I've been hit the fuck out of my truck. Walk home. <laughs> fuck you. Like again, I couldn't I, I know it's for fucking effect. Nah, yo. You not uh, you don't disrespect <laughs> me. Like, she said, on, "You don't, you're do you're out doing the complex work of toting around a pig's ass." I was like, "All right, <laughs> I'm gonna need you yeah, to get out at the what? next light. <laughs> like, I'm really gonna need you to get out." <laughs> like, you got a fucking cell phone. You can call one of your sisters to take your ass home. Cause get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's wildly. I'll even sit here and wait for them to show up. So I hope so I know something don't happen to you. But you can't get back in this truck. Nah, I wouldn't have waited. I wouldn't have waited. I'd I'd have been I'd have been a little too pissed, yo. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, yo! Like she was, she was like, "I'm, I'm better than you." In, she in, literally like, said she, that, and in, yeah. in like the eyes of the law or whatever, whatever dumb shit she said. She was like, "I'm She's like by the eyes of society, I am better than you." I was like, "Wow, you're a fucking what's wrong yeah. with you?" She guys? says, "I'm <laughs> sure my job what pays more than problem. yours does." So, in the eyes of the of society and the IRS, that makes me bigger and better than you. That's a direct quote. <laughs> Yeah, um, yo, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> but look, that goes, and we we can take a moment here. Like that goes to this idea of, like in these gender wars, your monetary, you know, abilities or or your monetary acquisition is what gives you leverage in a relationship. Like it's a very weird thing to me. It's very strange that pe- this is how this is how people come into relationships now. Like. On the internet, I, I granted, I understand that the internet is dumb. Say again, like, like traditionally, the man makes the more makes more money, so that's why they were the head of the household, right? But I, I, outside I, of like 
protection, like being stronger and all this other shit. Like you, you have the kid, you have his plate fixed when he comes home because he's the one that's doing all the work. He's making all the money to pay the bills and all that stuff. So yeah, if she's saying I make more money than you. So if you, we were in a, a relationship, yeah, I would be the man of the house, quote unquote, because I make more money than you. That's her. That's her logic. That's her view. Yeah. That's her view on life. And I don't again, there's true. reasons why, but it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so. I think it's I think it's a ridiculous thing to say in in 2024. In 2003, uh, yeah, people thought that that was like a bar, and I'm like, yeah, in 2024, you just sound ridiculous. Like you just do. Well, I make more money than you. Okay, <laughs> congratulations, good for you. Like, why don't we work together? You know, but um, <laughs> but it's there. There's still people who be, like who talk like this, men and women, which is weird. Like that. Monetary value matters more than anything. It it doesn't. Well, that's the main that's the main argument now, right? Yep. That's yeah, argument. that's what I'm like when I, you see them. I, I score more points than you. Yeah, like when you see them stupid videos, the guys like what what do you what do you want to make? what do you bring to, make, to like, the, table. the table? I'm like and, and, six figures, like that's not that's yeah, not and women, yeah, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> like, what are you and women, about? right, and women who are like, oh no, he's got to make like. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm like, who like, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like you, like the, the internet f- has warped your brains. Like literally, the internet has warped people's brains. Yeah, like the average dude makes like, like an average good job in America is like fifty thousand dollars. If you're if you're lucky, by the way, if you're lucky, and it's like I need somebody who makes at least five hundred thousand. One, where do you live? Two, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> And it's like, and I don't, you don't know how work. money works. <laughs> right. Like, how did you get this old and you don't know how money works? Like, that's weird. <laughs> to me, bro. You're like 25. <laughs> you in the real world. You think that you just find a half, somebody who got a million dollars just hanging out? Like, all right. Are you only dating rappers? Well, one of the, well, one of the number one jobs people actually, when you ask kids nowadays, what do they, what do you, what do you yeah. want to be? Social influencers. Yeah, you Social media influencers. YouTube, right? It's like in the top five. That's insane. because that's all they watch. Yeah, that's all we all watch. Mm-hmm. We fucking watch social media, and they see people with all of these fucking big houses and cars, which are lots of them are leased and shit like that. Until they they fake it till they make it, yep. if they make it at if all, if they ever make it, and they spend all their money, and that's what they see. It's like, oh shit, that's all they got to do, and then they start making ridiculous content. Like I see so much content, I'm like, you can't possibly believe this is real. You people, are, you you can't possibly believe. This video was real. But people make all this content to try to make as much money as possible. Most of them, 99% of them don't make the money that they think they yep. should be making, if or at they, all. Or they straight up lie, right? That, that they, oh, yeah. I, they I'm, I make $10 million a, a month or something. No, you don't. No, you don't. I saw a video of this white dude. They, well, this white guy was like, if you only, like, if you only make $30,000 a month, you know, he's like, that's a little over $300,000 a year. It's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. Over three hundred thousand dollars a year is not a lot of this money. This is what people are watching. This is what people are watching. And like, again, like if you think that's not a lot of money, you don't know how fucking money works, dude. Right? Like, you know how few that's- amount of people in the United States make over three hundred thousand dollars a year? Are you kidding me? Like, all right. <laughs> like, what it's just, dude. That's it's got to. It's got to be right? less than a percent. It's got to be less than a percent. I know someone the one percent makes. I know someone who makes that kind of money. He's a federal judge. I know somebody who makes that kind of money, and they're they're a very very high powered lawyer. Like, <laughs> like Jesus Christ, yo! Like, they're not twenty years old, by the way. <laughs> like they, they're not fresh right. out of yeah. fucking high school. What are you talking about? But they they grow up watching like the kid. What's that kid's name? Um, Kai Sinek. Oh, Kai. Yeah, the black kid. Yeah, he's twenty two years old. That nigga's worth like seven million dollars. Just streaming on Twitter, on I mean on, on Twitch. That's insane! Wow, that's a lot of fucking money. And they see him like we could, I could do that. Like eh, you got to get really fucking lucky. Good for him, get his money. But like that's not the he's norm lucky he's in very lucky. any way, shape, or form. No, and he's that's just lucky. He happened to hit the algorithm and has a type yeah. of personality that resonates. And I'm not mad at that. And he does work. You. He does work. I mean, he streams for eight hours. He streams like it's a job. He, he'll stream like eight hours a day. Wow. That's a people lot. somehow watch yeah, You show. better. <laughs> the yeah, he's got, he's got he's had all kinds of people on his show. 
Yeah, he'll have, like Nicki Minaj. He, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say Nicki Minaj on and everybody else. But I mean, look, good for him. But that's like looking at the NBA and assuming that you're gonna make it just because you can play basketball a yeah. little bit. Like, no. And since it's not a sport, like people are like I'm not really good at sports, but I can fucking I got a camera. Yeah. And you think any everybody thinks they can do it? Some people just don't have the personality for that shit. Uh, most people, most don't people have don't. Right, exactly. The vast majority. Yeah, of them. So. So, yeah, it's that whole idea of your monetary value is like your value as a person is very weird. I look, I'm glad I'm sort of, I'm not sort of, I am well out of the game. Like, I'm happy to be out of it. Um, I don't know if it, if this sort of mindset permeates to like regular people really, or if it's just like I don't think dumb, so. dumb people say on the internet. I, I, I get the impression it, it doesn't. But there's a lot of people on the internet who say shit like this, and I'm like, no, your value as a human being is not um, not how much money you have in your bank account. That's really sad, and you are a victim of capitalism. Like you should probably <laughs> um, think it over a little bit. So this is just strange to me. Um, all right, Micah. She's anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, she. she let's both her sisters after he doesn't throw her out of the car, <laughs> and they have a meeting, a three-hour fucking phone conversation about how terrible the meeting or uh, date was. Ray tells the guys that Eva is too difficult for even him to handle and offers to return their money. However, when he runs into Eva at work while delivering meat to a local restaurant, <laughs> they make amends and begin a relationship. Um, they go on on a on a on a date. She was like, he was like, hey, let me make it up to you. Uh, we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> What? What? LL Cool J did it, and he's a famous rapper. I could do that, and I could be successful like LL Cool J. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's the mentality, right? That's, um, That's all you have sure. to do. Okay, no. So Maybe. he's like, he's like, I'll do anything for you, right? No, like, no. Hold on. Hold on. I, okay. Yes, but let's go back a second. When he sees her at the restaurant uh, where he's, quote, unquote, delivering the meats, She's yelling at another um, person and, you know, she's doing her, you know, Martin Luther King wasn't compromising. I'm not compromising. But the dude is Asian and she says, yeah, this is is uncompromising. (laughs) I was like, wow, man. Like, really? Was that necessary? (laughs) Yeah, you You didn't have to throw that one in there. Yeah, you didn't have to throw that in. That's (laughs) fucked up. Let me me think of an Asian person like Confucius. (laughs) Come on. That's funny. Um, yeah, That's so, funny. um, so yeah, they go, they go on a date. So yeah, she's like, oh, we can do anything. Well, guess what? We're, we're going horseback riding. Cause, um, cause I'm into, you know, equestrian ism or whatever, however you pronounce it. I'm dumb guys. And, um, yeah. and, uh, afterward, this, this dude is fucking falling off the horse and shit. Like, I'm not doing that, you know. I'm not falling off a horse for this movie. Um, I don't uh, care don't how worry. clean the horse is. Don't worry. The stunt double lo- looks nothing like LL Cool J, so it was definitely – he was <laughs> pretty sure it was a, a either a Mexican or Asian gentleman, but okay. <laughs> Maybe it was the guy from the Confucius rant uh, they put in this <laughs> as well. Oh, yeah. He really doesn't look like yeah, him. He doesn't look like him at all. Like at all. And yeah, as I like a kid, I was like, "Oh, I think that is all cool." Jay. it was not. I like how they layered him up too, because apparently, because whoever this guy is, he obviously is not as big as LL Cool J. Yeah. Uh, so they had to layer him up. Um, but Gabrielle Union's care Eva Eva is uh, it likes horses, and uh, they start to get to know each other more. And she's like, "Hey, I kind of used you because I wanted to do this, and I never get a chance to because it's really expensive and." You know, uh, I was using you for your money. Uh huh. Using a man for his money. You see, even though, even though that's what you say you want because you make all the money. So, right. like, <laughs> like, which is it? Which is it? Not like that. Uh, <laughs> so, so she's like, all right. Well, since I used you for your money. We went on this date. We can do whatever you want to do. So he's like, all right, let's go back to my place, to my apartment and shoot pool in my apartment. A big ass pool table in an apartment (laughs) in Los Angeles. 
Uh, yeah, but this is before the the crazy rent hikes of 2005. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like rent would still be expensive. Wait, is this apartment? Is this an apartment or a house? I no, it's an apartment because he's he's saving up for a house. So he hasn't. I mean, maybe he say maybe he got it. Maybe maybe he got no, it because you do see no, a bunch show, of boxes and shit. But. No, they show him. They show him when he gets his house, like later on. Okay, okay. So yeah, they they having this date, and Dwayne Martin's character comes in and 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 you know he's like, "Yo, you better give me give give me that money that you owe me, bro." Oh, hey, didn't notice you there uh, because. I'm not aware of my surroundings for some strange reason, uh, but they're able to play it off. And, um, and LL Cool J is, is, is Gabriel Union is like, show me how to play pool. And LL Cool J is like, yeah. Oh yeah. And, uh, oh, right now. So they are montage of, of, uh, them falling in love and, uh, Eva and Ray fall in love and Eva temporarily abandons her shrewish ways. Uh, and when things start to get serious, Eva's sisters all start complaining that their boyfriends, uh, com- <clears throat> Eva's sisters all start comparing their relationships to Ray and Eva's relationship, making things worse than before. Um, there's a, there's a quick scene of, um, of um that would be annoying by the way constantly comparing your relationship to someone else yeah life. these guys married the wrong women yo these guys are in the relationship with the wrong women that that's the problem right eva's not the problem fundamentally right yeah. like these guys and these and these women shouldn't be with each other because they they annoy the fuck out of each other yeah um but it, it's We're because at, it's because everybody is a is a massive stereotype, right? Like yeah. they're one dimensional stereotypes, and like that could be on purpose, obviously. But I feel like in two thousand three, yeah. they thought the, these were complex characters, maybe. Um, but like the cop is for some reason like all about just sleeping over and like ju- just having. I mean, I'm not mad at wanting to have that intimacy or whatever. Like that, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but they're all single-minded. Like all of them are single-minded, including the women. They're all single-minded in, the, in that way. So I didn't understand Dwayne Martin's character. He wanted to stay the night without having to leave in the in like the middle of the night. Right. He wants to mo- he wants to move in, but they're not. He wants married. to move in, right? So if he sleeps over, why the fuck does he have to leave at like two in the morning? Because the sister Robin Robin Lee doesn't uh, want to cohabitate. And she doesn't want she Eva doesn't want uh, him staying over because then that's tantamount to you're living in to, you're living in sin. sin. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what they that's what I feel. But like, does Eva live there too? No, Eva I don't know where the fuck place. Eva lives. I don't know where does think, she. I think she lives she, under she, a yeah. fucking bridge. Is where she fucking <laughs> lives. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't under, I didn't understand that one. And then D'Artagnan, he just. What the fuck did he want? He just wanted to have sex with his fucking wife. Yeah, he just wants to have sex with his, with his girlfriend. Kicking in the door? Is that what it was? <laughs> Yo, get Again, up. I didn't fucking line, understand. Right? I didn't understand, like, the motivations. Like, I understand they didn't want Ava, Eva there at all because she's just a no, she's an annoying just a person in general. But, like, I didn't understand their actual, like, reasoning for why they wanted her to be going outside of, we just don't want you here. You could have been like, well, yeah. yo, why the fuck you keep showing up at our house, yo? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, stop doing that. Or you, yeah. or you have to have a conversation with your sister, tell her to stop doing this wild shit. But then they were like, no, I mean, she took care of us when we were kids because our parents died when we were eight, when she was 18. And like, that's, she's basically our mother. Yeah, you're, you're grown women at this point. Yeah, stand up for you. And then they had a D'Artagnan fund. That was another thing. Or not D'Artagnan fund. They had a Dandridge fund. That they would put money into. That's that, and that's the other thing that uh, Dwayne Martin's character was talking about. He wanted them to dissolve the fund because I think they were like tied to this money. Some weird. I didn't understand that either. It felt like he just wanted to steal it. If I'm being honest, like, yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> what do you want to do with the money? Do you want to steal her money or just your girlfriend's money? I didn't understand. Like they didn't expound on any of that. It was just kind of like this one. Was I a think. Bitch. 
It's you causing think, fucking di- division between the, the characters. That's it. I think for the fund, I yeah. think Eva was in charge of it. And sure. um and yeah, yeah. and as long as she's in charge of it, if they didn't like if she didn't like disperse it between amongst the the sisters evenly, then the guys wouldn't be able to leech off of it, right? Um But they have jobs. That's the thing that I yeah. understand. Like it's not like none of these niggas are like like bums. They all have jobs. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck like, his name. I don't know what Michael does. I have no idea what the fuck he even did. Oh, Dwayne Martin cop. is a cop. Dwayne Martin's the cop. That's Michael. Yeah, uh, he's I don't know the what Mel Jackson. Tim, I don't, I don't know what, what the fuck he does. And the other suck, one was suck toes apparently. So <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like they weren't working. That's my. I didn't understand any of this. It just didn't add up. I didn't, didn't maybe that. Sense. Maybe I mean, you know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe that nigga needs a job. And he, otherwise, he wouldn't be at home with his face in somebody's feet. Go to work. I mean, look, if you is think of it like getting an inheritance, right? Like if you if you if you everybody wants free money, right? And if there's somebody holding you up, like you, you know, you're gonna try to do what you gotta do. But I don't think the the money the money thing didn't come off as the motivation. The the motivation came off for me with Tim and Karina, like he wants to have a baby, she's afraid that they're gonna get divorced tomorrow. Right, and, and, like so, that's their conflict. I mean, and, like, if and, you keep saying it, we are right. Like, <laughs> yeah. stop fucking putting that into the ether, bitch. Like, relax, <laughs> calm down. And then Mike and Mike wants to move in with Bethany, right? Like, yeah. but you know, he but he was the one out. that was talking about the fun. Like, neither the other two didn't dudes didn't really give a fuck. About well, yeah, he he's that. also a cop, yo. He's also he's also like a crook. He's also a crooked cop. So, yeah, maybe that is. It. Really? Maybe maybe he wants to like take that damn money. It's like I've already invested $5300 into this. Like I, I want some return. Yeah, and then D'Artagnan mm-hmm. just wanted some quality time with it. And D'Artagnan just wants to mm-hmm. fuck making good. Quality and time. I, like, who says I get it. Time. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why I said it. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, what it's... a terrible, terrible stand-in for Martin. Just... <laughs> anyway, I just—I know that was an aside, but I just was kind of like just watching it. Like I don't fucking understand this movie. It doesn't make it makes sense, but at the same time, like you're just not putting the pieces together. Yeah, you can't. You can't really, off. right? You can't really think about it. Um, there's a quick scene of uh, there's a quick scene of um, which is why we kind of. We kind of get why Eva is the way she is. So they're at some event, some gala, and you see Eva sitting there, and uh, some guy that she works with is like, "Hey, where's your boyfriend? I've heard so much about." Uh, she's just like, "Ah, he's at work, and he couldn't make it." So she goes to the bar and she meets her ex, who uh, really kind of like fucked her up, Lucius. Uh, Lucius. Uh, this old Russell Wilson looking nigga. <laughs> and he and he's he's a prick. He this guy's a, a, he's a real prick. Dickhead. This guy's a dickhead, man. Like nobody acts like this as grown ups in your thirties, right? Nobody acts like this to anybody. But he's like he's he's being very condescending and like, oh, here's my wife. She looks just like you, right? Like, because because I, I I have a I have a type, right? And she's being a bitch, and she's just like, yeah, she's wild, dude. Yeah, she's yeah. like, oh <laughs> hey, I hear you were the love of his life. I'm glad I'm glad you guys are broken up so that I can go and and be with him. Look at our kids, and we she literally says, I, I hate, hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Well, maybe your husband shouldn't be referring like to that. another woman as the love of his life, you fucking loser. Get out of here. Like, <laughs> yuck. And this is like the first time when she's actually like stuck. She has no retort because she this is the dude that broke her heart. Yeah, she's embarrassed. She's yeah. usually like just all one. Like she's just ready to just rip somebody's throat out, but she couldn't do it to this nigga because she's like, Yeah, okay. This is this is one of the sources of my the reason why the way I am. Yeah. Right. And, Kenya uh, Moore, by the way, cool. very fine. And she was in uh, episode one. one. Yeah, one hundred percent. There are no un- and, unattractive women. In and no, no. Yeah. Uh, this is this is one of my favorite eras of uh, oh, 100%. of black women. Top, uh, <laughs> top tier th- casting. This, 
top tier case. Yeah, this 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 era of black women uh, cannot be beat. Uh, they, yeah, they, yeah, you had you had your <laughs> Sanaa Lathans and like yeah, it was yeah, Neil Long, everybody was there. Good lord, all shades. So. So LL Cool J comes back in a much better fitting outfit, um, <laughs> and uh, it's still it's still really like you know straight down, but uh, but it it looks better, right? And he comes in and he's like you know he's he's putting he's 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 doing he's doing the thing that you do when you you want to rescue a woman in a in a situation like this, and. Um, and then turns out like, Touch oh, here's their the mayor. Face in a weird way. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> sh- like, doing whatever, that. whatever works, I guess. And uh, the mayor comes in, and you know, the the uh, what's his name, LL Cool J, knew the mayor because he was like giving him a meat packing presentation and some shit. Like I. <laughs> <laughs> Like oh, I know you, like I know you, like I know you would have just got to have like a blue collar job, right? Like I get it and I respect it, but like meat man, like nah, nah, is it look, just for the, is it just for the joke? It's for the joke. Just for the jokes. <laughs> look, 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 I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. They were come, trying to come up with the name of a of a position or like a job for him. LL Cool J was like, "How about I just say I deliver meat?" And they were like, "That's a genius <laughs> idea. This is 100 percent his idea." You cannot convince me that this is not like a purely why, creative choice by Al Cool J. Why is why is the guy unloading the meat truck giving a presentation to the mayor about meat? Yo, I'm like yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> he said he was showing him some, like some prime steak or some shit like that. Or and he or like, like, showed him, right? showed him prime, this is prime cuts. Prime cuts like of, this, uh, like, prime this cuts. nigga. This nigga works at Omaha Steaks and drove the <laughs> truck up. To the mayor's house to deliver a, a, a presentation about Omaha steaks and just hit it off with the mayor. Now, to the point where they're talking about relationships. He's dapping them up. He's like, <laughs> he's taking pictures with the meat man. Yo, he's taking pictures with the Omaha <laughs> Thanks, guy. Come on, yo. Like, no, it's actually worse than that. You're giving a lot of credit to it being Omaha Steaks. It's more like Cisco, you know, like the company that like supplies everybody food. That's what he. That's where he works, right? Like this shit is. It's hilarious. Like you're absolutely right. Like he's dapping the mayor up. Like he's taking pictures. This shit is wild. And at no point was the mayor like, this guy's my favorite meat guy. The mayor's just talking to him like, oh, this guy works in my cabinet or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's fuck. fucking dumb, man. It's this ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Silly. It's very silly. Um, so they go back because, uh, like, she is su- she is she is super horned up. Like, oh yeah, you made my ex, uh, you humiliated my ex. Let's go, right? Yeah, you, you dip me. Uh, you dip me at the at the at the meat gala, and then I yeah. weirdly dipped you back, which was fucking strange. Because LL Cool J is obviously a lot heavier than Gabrielle Union, so she's got to hold the back of his head like she's a speedster, <laughs> so he doesn't, go, <laughs> he doesn't fall over. It's fucking hilarious. Oh shit! And they're getting, you know, they're hot and heavy, and they're getting into it. And then he's like, "No, no, we need to stop." I, yeah. I, I I need to know that this is real and I can't just do this right now. She's like, what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? American couples always have sex on the third date. It's statistics, nigga. And we are way past third date. So let's fucking go. And and he's I mean, like, no, wrong can't. about that stat, by the way. It's true. Yeah. I mean, it's an unwritten rule, right? Like, all right. I like you enough to see you three times. Let me let you inside me, right? Like <laughs> three, yo, three, three is all, a it's wildly all... low number like, <laughs> for actually doing. Uh, for let actually me doing penetrate that. you now that yeah. I've now that I yeah, now that I memorize your last name and your phone number. Uh, <laughs> it's time for penetration. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. What's your middle name? I, I thought. Oh shit! I thought it was Tanya. Anyway, take your pants off. Like <laughs> third date. Come on, girl. So he's like, no, nah, I respect you too much. I can't just just have sex with you right now, and and because because I like you and I respect you. And then she's like, you're right. I'll leave. And then, of course, this, and then and good then, for course, him. This this, this niggas. This nah, is the, this is the fundamental difference between me and LL Cool J. 
uh, like just <laughs> fundamentally, him and I are very different people. If Gary like was like, yes, let's do it, I'd be like, you don't have to tell me twice. Like at this point, all these games, all these games you playing, LL Cool Ray, you just, you just, you just wasting time at this point, yeah. right? Like, like let's 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 cut the bullshit. This woman is this woman is about efficiency. Uh, okay. Let's cut the nonsense. Yeah. She likes statistics, like right. Yeah. Why is this nigga sucking her fingers, yo? Like the. the <laughs> He posted. I didn't. I didn't, know, I didn't notice. It. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it until just now. I was <laughs> literally licking her face, just putting her fingers Yo, in his mouth. You well, know, the, idea. the customary, the customary postcoital finger suck, right? Like, I don't, like, I think it actually bothers me more than the feet thing with Mel Jackson, because like a sweaty all uh, cool J. Uh, at the below the foot of a bed, sucking <laughs> a woman's hands post coitus is fucking gross. Yo, it's fucking gross. <laughs> it's, nasty, yo. it's nasty. Oh shit! Oh, that's hilarious, man. Mm. Um. All right, okay. let me skip. Some that is this. <laughs> um. You know, now that she's been uh, dickmatized, she uh, she goes to the. Term. Uh, yes. The, the, she goes to the hair salon and she's just like, "Yo, what up, B? What's, what's, what's y'all right, like, fucking going good. up in here?" Pratt and nigga, like, just skeeted that skeeted nigga all up in her, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that changed her whole fucking personality. Yo, that was ridiculous. Yeah, this movie's silly as shit, dude. I just... <laughs> So we get a we get a montage of um you know everybody uh, everybody kind of upset that their relationships are being compared to uh, Eva and uh, and Ray and um and at one point one of the sisters lets it slip out that Eva got a job offer uh, and she would have to move to Chicago but they think if she's in love with LL Cool Ray, that he's not, then she's not gonna go. She's gonna stay. So they cornered this dude and is like, "Nah, yo, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta break up with her right now, so she can go to Chicago." And he's like, "Nah, yo, I like her, yo. Like, what the fuck y'all gonna do about it? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm bigger than y'all. I'm he's like, than you bigger, than, you <laughs> by the laws of society, I'm, 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 I'm better than you. So, you know, what you gonna do about it?" So these three niggas bank him like what the <laughs> fuck? Like <laughs> he's like, nah, yo, I like this girl and I'm gonna take her out. Uh now let me leave with my tucked in sweater, my sweater tucked into my jeans. And and he's like, no, nah, yo. And then they they bank his ass and throw him in the back of his truck. Um, I would like to think that those things have some sort of latch or something on the inside, but I'm not a box truck guy. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Um, we cut to a scene of this poor, this poor delivery guy. Well, no, because he says something smart, didn't he? Didn't he yeah. say? No, something he said some. He said some smart. Yeah, shit. he said some foul ass shit. So he got what he deserved. Yeah, he's talking. He he, he says something like, "Y'all, y'all, y'all bitches uh, complain about men, but then complain about not having them," and then. Uh, they get ready to surround his ass, like they gotten ready to snoo snoo his ass, and 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 he's like, "Uh oh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll like it." And then the gay guy comes and is like, "Up, oh, gay panic, gotta go." Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is 2003. Right. He has to make it. No, I definitely don't swing that way. Right. All right. All right. So uh, the guys come into the hair salon and is like. The guys who just kidnapped a human being uh, <laughs> came into the hair salon and said that said human being is dead. Yo, that's uh, a wild turn of events, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shit makes no sense. So they locked uh, his ass up in a warehouse. Yo, they literally um, have this nigga strapped up like in the movie Nine to Five with Dolly Parton. Like, this shit isn't. <laughs> and, uh, 
and and the the crooked ass cop is uh is is like hey um I filled out a fake police report saying that you died in a car accident and that your body was mangled so bad that you had to immediately be cremated. And since you don't have a family to speak of, no one else can figure out. So you are effectively dead, nigga. Like, excuse me? <laughs> this is your plan? I don't think that's how it's working. What kind of and, goofy and, ass shit? And, yeah. and so their plan is that he's dead. And then Eva moves to Chicago and lives out her life. And immediately right. after she leaves, they let him go? <laughs> or do they murder him? Because murdering <laughs> him is the only way this plan actually works. Seems a little yeah. odd to me. And how much time passed? How long was this nigga in this warehouse? He's got the same so outfit. He had to like. He got the same well, yeah, outfit. Gets, well, like yeah, yeah they didn't give him a change of clothes. Yeah, you're right. But, but it doesn't feel like it's a long time. It takes but less, it you, takes a little bit more than a day to like, you know, plan a funeral. Granted, he's but, yeah, cremated, so Well, and also like I think you're right. I think maybe a significant amount of time has passed because like you see a bunch of snacks and stuff on the floor and the light-skinned dude with the glasses is holding his nose, really trying to play up the fact that, like, LL Cool J stinks. Um, yeah. Or but, shit's in a bucket, either one. Yeah. Uh, so we end up uh, we end up back at the funeral where the movie began. And um, LL Cool J is able to MacGyver his way out of his shackles. Um. Yeah, how, yeah, what what the what is the timetable here because like this is a <laughs> long ass sense. funeral, yo. This is a long ass funeral for this guy to to only just now be a, being able to figure out how to get out of here, but um he he's able to get to to free himself and he he makes this big dramatic uh entrance into the church and um and uh, you know the guys try to play it off and like, oh, it's a miracle! Like he uh, has nigga. risen. It's a new Easter. <laughs> like no. <laughs> um, the whole thing, like this entire scene, makes no sense. Like immediately, those women should be like, "I want a divorce." Yeah, like, yeah. Immediately. Yo. immediately. Yeah. Especially like, especially um, Robin Lee's character, right? Because. Yo, your man is evil, yo. <laughs> like he, yeah, he's a straight up evil character. And so the truth, everything comes out, right? The whole, um, these guys paid me, um, but I actually end up really liking you. And, and um, you know, they held me captive because, you know, everything comes out, the whole movie. And then. He was pissed at everybody, right? And uh, and rightfully so, right? Like, yeah. nobody deserves this kind of psychological torture, even if they are a bit of a uh, an asshole to people. Right. Um, so Ray tries numerous times to apologize to Eva uh, and saying that he, uh, he truly loves her. Um, she, uh, the... Uh, the Eva doesn't want to hear it, and she plans to move on without him. A couple of days later, she apologizes to the guys for uh, meddling in and being a huge pain and distraction no. for them. No, fuck them. I'd be like, <laughs> if I was hurt, now see, I, I've jumped teams. Like, I would immediately, I would immediately be like, I just want to say to you guys that I would have apologized if. You didn't try to fake my boyfriend's death and trick me and cause me massive psychological pain and trauma. So no, I don't forgive you. And I'm helping my sisters go on LegalZoom.com to write up divorce papers <laughs> for all you fucking psychopaths that are, that are married to them. No, nah, this doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't apologize to them, niggas. Fuck them. Like you <laughs> fake Mar great value Martin Lawrence. Get out of here. Uh, the crooked cop. I'm reporting you. You're going to prison. Um, hey, I'm be like, this nigga fucking filed a fake police report yeah. and, and kidnapped a nigga. You're a cop. Yeah. 
Yeah, and Mel Jackson, you don't get to be a dad. You're a fucking kidnapper. Get out of here. No. Yeah, yeah. You make poor decisions, bro. Yeah. Like this is not uh parenting is not something that can be Right. Like, I just want I just wanna I just wanna be a dad where my you know, my dad wasn't a good dad. Oh, I'm sorry, was your dad involved in uh lying the kidnapping uh plots when you were a kid? No? Weird. What a weird moment. <laughs> also in this scene, um um Dwayne Martin does something that I think is disgustingly obnoxious, which is uh take a moment that is not about you getting engaged and then making it all about you by getting engaged in front of others. <laughs> Fuck off. It's, anno- it's annoying. People shouldldn't do that. You get engaged at someone else's wedding, you're an asshole. Like I have yeah, a lo- We can't I be have- friends anymore. We can't no, be friends. Nah, yo. No, absolutely not. Hey, do you mind if people I get engaged that- on my wedding day? Yeah, I fucking mind. Fuck yeah, off. People, people think that's cute, right? Like, oh, there's so much love in the air. I'm overwhelmed and I have to. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, gr- that's grounds for a fucking, that's grounds for a punch in the face. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Like, you're not, no, don't do that. No, if don't somebody do had done that at my wedding, I would, I would hope that uh, while they were kneeling down and asking, I had the opportunity to go and kick them in the chest. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> No. I would ruin it. I would ruin it. I would ruin <laughs> Just like it. like they ruined my wedding day. No, right. you selfish asshole. It's my day. I get to be the selfish asshole. Take that ring and throw it right in the fucking Jacksonville River. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch. Like, no, that's, a, that's one of the most obnoxious things you can do, yo. Like, nah. 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 Also, nah, he doesn't it, deserve it, yo. <laughs> no, like, she should have said character. no. She that character no. does not deserve Right, I happen. thought she was going to say no. I didn't remember, but I thought, I was like, absolutely not. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. No, you kidnapped a nigga. Yeah, I, I don't even you know why they're still together. Yeah, I talked to your sergeant. Uh, he's got some words for you, too. Goodbye. Like, no, you're going to jail. <laughs> you're going to the fucking central booking is where your ass is going. Get out of here. So, yeah, so, um, the movie ends really weird. So... Um, <laughs> Eva leaves and starts her new life in Chicago. One day after a meeting, Ray surprises Eva on a white horse in front of her boss and colleagues. This is really weird, guys. Um, Don't do this. Where, where, where do we begin? Uh, where do you get the so horse? She's already in Chicago? Yeah, yeah she she's moved. in Chicago. So did he just like drive a horse across state lines? He rode a horse all the way. He <laughs> rode a horse halfway across the country. Is that, is to, that uh, horse trafficking? Like you can't you can't take a horse across state lines. Like it's a federal offense. Either that, or he found a horse in Chicago. Yeah, like no, nah, it's more. No, nah, this is more he likely one of those. Like it's a wait. Hold on, it's a white horse. No, nah, he stole this from yeah. an Arab. Yo, he stole he stole it from one of the dudes with the that carries it. Like, <laughs> they drive around with the fruit on the back. No, nah, he took it from Arab is in Chicago. Yeah, they probably do. Is there niggas in Chicago? Yeah, there's eight rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> so is this her horse? Did he buy her this horse? He, he yeah, he bought horse. the horse. He stole and, that and horse. Yeah, he, he bought the horse, horse and gave it to her. Yeah, horses he are said mad he found expensive. A, yeah, he found a stable or whatever. And uh, he's like, this is your horse now. And uh, I, I, I left everything behind in Los Angeles to come here and be with you in Chicago and he says, I can't live without you, and I'll do whatever it takes. And uh, she takes him back, and they leave on a horse, and some cops come and the ruin everything. It was like, yeah, what, are, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Do they have uh, cops on horseback in Chicago? I've never been. Uh, look, I uh, guess so. The, the realest conversation happens right at the end where this woman looks up and is like, would you buy me a horse? And this dude is like, <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> a horse, uh, according to this website, um, a thoroughbred horse can be between a thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars. No, no, I'm not buying you a horse. Get the fuck out of here. And then they don't they have maintenance costs? You got to feed the thing. Yeah, you get a stable. Right? Yeah. What are you, so where are you putting this thing? Apparently, apparently this is Chicago, but apparently, according to uh, IMDb trivia. Two LA County buses roll past in the, <laughs> in this scene. Classic. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Are you showed us a Chicago? I mean, it she's was supposed, supposed to be. be. Yeah, she's supposed to be a Chicago. 
I, I'm I'm very confused about the idea of buying a woman a horse as a as a I'm sorry gift. But I guess if you're well, used to people they have elevated train tracks. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Uh, and then this movie has a post credit scene, which what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the yeah. post credit scene uh, consists of the um, it, it's back at the hair salon, the uh, the gay um, hairdresser uh, is on the phone uh, and he's like, hey, hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I know. You know, you know how it is. Look, I got to keep pretending to be gay because you know, <laughs> uh, 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 a straight hairdresser is an unemployed hairdresser. Yeah, you know I mean, so, you know, just 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 have my dinner ready when I get home, you know, because I'm I'm because I'm making all the money because I'm a man playing a gay dude in a hair in a hair salon. All right. This sounds like you yeah. make shit up. But that's what happened. Like it's me, but this is exactly what the fuck happened. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck what, I'm watching right now. What the fuck was the point of this? Like, it's not. It's not even funny. Like, I can't imagine yeah. this being funny 20 years ago either. Nah. Like, what? what straight dudes pretending to be gay? Like, is this the whole? Is this like the genesis of like black man wearing a dress thing? No, this is the this is the next movie uh, that plays after. This is going to be Joanna Man, right? Like that's that's it. Um, I I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why that that's funny. I guess maybe in two thousand three it was funny. I don't know. It doesn't feel particularly all that funny to me. But that's well, that I was a goofy it. ass movie. Yeah, it was very silly. Um, all right, that is it for episode two sixty. Deliver us from Eva. Uh, I promise you that the next film uh, will be much more serious and have something uh, rational and reasonable to talk about. Uh, no horses will be involved. Maybe. Um, all right. Man, I've never see- seen this movie, so. Yeah, you no. can't tell. All right. So we will be back with a preview episode for episode 261 next week. We'll see you guys. See you. Take it easy. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.